So when you turn the printer back on for the first time, this is hopefully what you'll see. You'll see all the lights illuminated. That's telling you that the printer currently thinks it's out of ink, which it thinks that you've removed all the ink cartridges, which in principle you have, but of course you've replaced them with a permajet chip block. So it's simply, simple and straightforward now to reset the chips to get everything back up online and functioning successfully. Press the ink drop button to move the head into the change position. Now I've already done that in advance. That is currently in its change position ready for me to access the small sliding switches on the top of the chip block down through the aperture cutouts which you see here. So we'll now cut to a zoomed in version of these switches so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So here you see the chip block, which is currently down inside the print head. But we've taken a separate one out just to be able to show you nice and clearly. Here are your two reset slider switches. When you, when you start up, both switches should be in towards the middle. So the left to the, to the left and the right to the right. Once you press the change position, uh, the ink drop button to go into the change position, it will require you to slide the switches Remember, down inside here, to the opposite of where they are now. So, out to the outside, to the outside. Press the ink drop button again. The head will move backwards and forwards, and it will come back with maybe either all lights on or some of the lights now illuminated. It will then require you to press the ink drop button once more, bringing the head back into this position. You can then access these switches once more, slide them back to their original position so back to the middle press the ink drop button once more and hopefully at that point all lights will go out and your printer will be ready to print if for some reason the lights do not extinguish you can simply perform the procedure once more and it will make sure the lights go out and get everything back up and running So you can see down inside the apertures the two little white switches we've been discussing. I tend to use the injector removal tool which helps you remove your injectors safely and securely to actually slide the switches left or right dependent on what you're trying to achieve. It's just a little added bonus of the tool and it saves you trying to squeeze your fingers down inside unnecessarily. But that will allow you to access the chips slide the sliders and reset your chip block.